down I've gone for me Everybody's in the mood Dude, I'm gonna see you with the likes of you I say what you see Welcome, walleye fans. Hortonville, how are you feeling today? Oh, come on. We're live streaming on the internet, the World Wide Web. I want to hear some noise out of Hortonville. Are you ready to see some walleyes? Now we're getting a little bit better. I want to welcome everybody here to the Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit presented by Motor Guide here on Big Stone Lake in Hortonville, Minnesota. We've got a rich history here with the Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit over the years, many tournaments, championships. We've even got a beautiful trophy plate right over there, a monument of the Masters Walleye Circuit. We always have to start out by thanking our sponsors. Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter for walleyes, Ranger Boats, Mercury Motors, Motor Guide, Berkeley Gulp and Berkeley Trilene, Lowrance Electronics, Low Equipment Attachments, Lindy Legendary Fishing Tackle, TH Marine, Optima Batteries, Sea Grant, G Juice, Zippo Outdoors, Church Tackle, and the Walleye Federation. These anglers are here fishing for a total of $30,770 in cash and cash and prizes. First place is $7,700 cash. Down to 10th place we'll be paying and our 10th place paycheck is $1,000. We've got the $1,000 Ranger Cup Award program for those boats. The highest finisher in this tournament in that Ranger Cup program gets a $1,000 bonus. The Berkeley product bonus is a $500 shopping spree for the team. Highest finishing using Berkeley products in this tournament. We've got the Lowrance Electronics bonus, HDS, HDS Touch Elite 7. Those teams using those products, the highest finisher will get a $500 bonus. We've also got the Zippo Hot Hands Award, $250 for the biggest fish of the tournament so far. That is seven pounds, four ounces. That's what we're looking to beat on the Zippo Hot Hands Award. We've also got the Optima True Blue Award for those boats that are using Optima batteries in their boat, all Optima batteries, there's a $250 bonus for, a $200 bonus, I'm sorry, $200 bonus for the Optima True Blue. We've got a big fish program, the anglers put in their own money, $525, $315 and $210 for first, second and third places in the big fish contest for those that wanted to get in, they put in their own $50, we pay all that money back to the anglers. Our leaders right now, 20 pounds even, Justin Henrik and Cody Backstrand. 20 pounds even is the number we're looking to pass to take over the lead and see who wins. The Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit presented by Motor Guide here on Big Stone Lake. Looks like our tanks are full. Are you ready to see some walleyes, folks? There we go. I want to thank... Before we get rolling here, I want to thank the Big Stone Lake Area Chamber of Commerce, the Big Stone Lake Walleye Club, Artie Arndt, and the Rustling Elms for their accommodations. Our first boat up, boat number 20. Neil Jensen and Calvin Lawrence from Henry, South Dakota, and Bismarck, North Dakota. One fish today, weighing in at 3 pounds, 1 ounce, for a total of 10 pounds, 4 ounces. Hope you had a good time. You come back to Big Stone again? Absolutely. Great time. A little tougher bite for us today. Anybody want to say hello to out there online? Uh, yeah, hello to my wife, Deb. Thanks for letting them fish with us, Deb. Yep, I'll get the rest of them. Our next boat up, boat number 36 from Moorhead, Minnesota, in Fargo, North Dakota. Father and son team, Spencer and Ronnie Deitz. Five fish in the box today. Good job today, Spence. Spence helped out with the kids and family fishing clinic today. How was that? It was good. Um, we had some backyard bass that the, the kids caught, so that was a lot of fun. 13 pounds, 5 ounces today for a total of 20 pounds, 12 ounces. We got a big fish to weigh in here. Uh, you can set the mark. Sure. All right, let's get him a big fish out. Got to have 3 pounds and 1 ounce. Hey, no more Gina Ryan is going to fall for me. Everybody's in the phone. Dude, I'm going to see you with the likes of you. Say what you see. 
Welcome, Walleye fan. Hortonville, how are you feeling today? Oh, come on. We're live streaming on the internet, the World Wide Web. I want to hear some noise out of Hortonville. Are you ready to see some walleyes? Now we're getting a little bit better. I want to welcome everybody here to the Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit presented by Motor Guide here on Big Stone Lake in Ortonville, Minnesota. We've got a rich history here with the Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit over the years, many tournaments, championships. We've even got a beautiful trophy plate right over there, a monument of the Masters Walleye Circuit. We always have to start out by thanking our sponsors. Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter for walleyes, Ranger Boats, Mercury Motors, Motor Guide, Berkeley Gulp and Berkeley Trilene, Lowrance Electronics, Low Equipment Attachments, Lindy Legendary Fishing Tackle, TH Marine, Optima Batteries, Sea Grant, G Juice, Zippo Outdoors, Church Tackle, and the Walleye Federation. These anglers are here fishing for a total of $30,770 in cash and cash and prizes. First place is $7,700 cash. Down to 10th place we'll be paying and our 10th place paycheck is $1,000. We've got the $1,000 Ranger Cup Award program for those boats. The highest finisher in this tournament in that Ranger Cup program gets a $1,000 bonus. The Berkeley product bonus is a $500 shopping spree for the team. Highest finishing using Berkeley products in this tournament. We've got the Lowrance Electronics bonus, HDS, HDS Touch Elite 7. Those teams using those products, the highest finisher will get a $500 bonus. We've also got the Zippo Hot Hands Award, $250 for the biggest fish of the tournament so far. That is seven pounds, four ounces. That's what we're looking to beat on the Zippo Hot Hands Award. We've also got the Optima True Blue Award for those boats that are using Optima batteries in their boat. All Optima batteries, there's a $250 bonus for a $200 bonus, I'm sorry, $200 bonus for the Optima True Blue. We've got a big fish program. The anglers put in their own money. $525, $315, and $210 for first, second, and third places in the big fish contest for those that wanted to get in they put in their own fifty dollars we pay all that money back to the anglers our leaders right now 20 pounds even justin henrik and cody backstrand 20 pounds even is the number we're looking to pass to take over the lead and see who wins the cabela's masters walleye circuit presented by motor guide here on big stone lake Looks like our tanks are full. Are you ready to see some more ice, folks? There we go. I want to thank, before we get rolling here, I want to thank the Big Stone Lake Area Chamber of Commerce, the Big Stone Lake Walleye Club, Artie Arndt, and the Rustling Elms for their accommodations. Our first boat up, boat number 20. Neil Jensen and Calvin Lawrence from Henry, South Dakota, and Bismarck, North Dakota. One fish today, weighing in at three pounds, one ounce, for a total of 10 pounds, four ounces. Hope you had a good time. You come back to Big Stone again? Absolutely, great time, a little tougher bite for us today. Anybody want to say hello to out there online? Uh, yeah, hello to my wife, Deb. Thanks for letting them fish with us, Deb. Yep, I'll get the rest of them. Our next boat up, boat number 36 from Moorhead, Minnesota and Fargo, North Dakota. Father and son team, Spencer and Ronnie Deitz. Five fish in the box today. Good job today, Spence. Spence helped out with the kids and family fishing clinic today. How was that? It was good. Um, we had some backyard bass that the, the kids caught, so that was a lot of fun. 13 pounds, 5 ounces today for a total of 20 pounds, 12 ounces. We got a big fish to weigh in here. Uh, you can set the mark. Sure. All right, let's get him a big fish out. Got to have three pounds and one ounce. And guess what, Spence? You guys are the new leaders. 20 pounds, 12 ounces. We're going to get their big fish weight. See if it's worth some money. How'd you catch them? Uh, we switched over to uh, crawlers today in those offshore tackle planer boards with their tattle flags. 
Uh, we got a lot of short bites, so the tackle flags uh, would tell us when we get those bites. So those those uh, offshore tackle boards are the real deal. Four pounds, three ounces of the biggest fish so far today. We'll get them fish hustled off the stage. We are releasing these fish right back into Big Stone Lake. We sure appreciate you coming, and we certainly appreciate you taking care of those kids. Give a round of applause to Spencer Dykes. Our next team out. Boat number 33 from Ortonville, Minnesota, and Elbow Lake, Minnesota. Artie Arndt and Mark. Mike Fish. They got a five fish limit today. They went out with 15 pounds, 14 ounces. They weigh today, 15 pounds, 12 ounces for a total of 31.10. We got a big fish to weigh. Let's set that box down to the big fish box shuffle. Set it right on the ground, please. And then we're going to find out how they caught them, where they caught them. How'd you catch them? Uh, yesterday we did a bunch of different things. Today we caught them cranking. Um, we kind of figured that out mid-morning yesterday and we stayed with it all day today. Right now your big fish weight, five pounds, five ounces. That's the biggest fish of the day so far. Hold it up for, for, hold it up for the camera here for the people at home to see on the wide world, uh, world wide web. There you go. Our new leaders, folks, 31 pounds, 10 ounces. Did you have a favorite crank, favorite color, favorite depth, favorite speed, any of that? Well, we sped it up a little bit today. We fished a little faster, two and a half miles an hour. Um, we actually ran the big motor, ran the Ebenau D Tech today, and that idle is down really nice, so we were really able to do that. Um, we experimented with crankbaits, caught them on a bunch of different crankbaits. Um, two and a half miles an hour seemed to be the deal, though, today, especially, and the bite was a lot better for us today than it was yesterday. Well, we'll see if that holds up for a win for you folks. 31 pounds, 10 ounces. Congratulations, and good luck. Give them fish a drink, and let's get some more photos. Coming up next, boat number 40 from Monticello in Waconia, Minnesota. Sean Fleming and Nate Gilkey went out with nine pounds, two ounces yesterday. They've got a five fish limit in the box today. Sean, how was your trip to Big Stone? Oh, it was great. I was here a couple weeks ago for the uh, MTT, and uh, so we decided to fish this one as well. I, I love it out here. Seven pounds, 12 ounces today for a total of 16, 14, currently in fourth place. We'll get these waves slip out. We'll get them fish put right back in. Would you come back to Big Stone for another MWC? Oh, absolutely. I hope you come back. We do, too. Give them a round of applause, folks. Coming up next, boat number 43 from Spicer in Browns Valley, Minnesota. Mike Dahlman and Douglas Sikora. Two fish in the box today. One more than yesterday? One more than yesterday. It was a little slow for us. A spinner and crawlers. We got to pick her up. Spinners and crawlers, three pounds, one ounce for a total of four pounds, ten ounces. We appreciate you coming and fishing with us. Could you do me a favor? Please clean, drain, and dry that boat before you take it to another body of water. And our next boat coming across the stage, boat number 31 from Sisseton. And Rochelle, South Dakota, Brian Steakin and Sean Carl went out with 12 pounds, two ounces day one. They got four fish in the box today. Good looking fish. We had a lot of overs today, just couldn't find the under that we needed. 12 pounds, 4 ounces total today. Total of 24 pounds, 6 ounces, sitting in second place. We got a big fish to weigh. Let's set that box down. What are we looking for for third place big fish? 3-1 to break into the big fish money. Beautiful, healthy walleyes here. 4 pounds, 5 ounces. Right now, sitting in second place for big fish of the day. That could be a $315 fish should it hold up. We appreciate you fishing the MWC. Be sure you clean, drain, and dry those boats. Coming up next, boat number 18 from St. Cloud in Mapleton, Minnesota. Gregory Jones and Scott Zuffer went out with 10 pounds, 3 ounces, and they have a 5 fish limit. Oh, that's a good looking limit. How'd you catch them? I went back to the same spot that didn't produce yesterday, and they went like crazy. We were sitting out here in the boat at 11.30. Yes, they were. Today's five fish limit, 18 pounds, 15 ounces for a total of 29.2. Sitting in second place. Did you get in the big fish pot? We are in the big fish pot. Looks like we better weigh one of them. Set that box down. Looking for a 4-3 to break into the big fish money, and it's going to be all of that, folks. Hold that fish right straight up in the air. That's beauty. 
set them right in there. Beautiful fish. Looking for seven four for the biggest so far. Seven pounds, two ounces. Biggest of the day. $525 fish so far for the day. Let's find out how they caught these fish. What'd you catch them on? Uh, we were pulling cranks. Some um, fire tiger was we were way up north. It was dirty up there. And uh, yesterday we went and go and we left everybody alone and went, went right back. We figured they were still there. And we, we pulled in our first spot. Didn't get nothing, rolled in this next spot at 9.20, and we were going home at 11 o'clock. We doubled up twice with 19s. Well, congratulations. Great box of fish sitting in second place right now. Thank you. Coming up next, boat number 45 from Thompson, North Dakota, in Waterloo, Iowa. Tom Stowe and Chase Friedick went out with four pounds, seven ounces day one. They've got a five fish limit in the box. Chase, good job. Yeah, we basically sped up a little bit like other teams have said and pulling cranks and worked out for us. Same spots as yesterday. Same spots, colors? Uh, Sama Hornets and the perch color is always the best for us. Eight pounds, five ounces today for a total of 12, 12. No big fish to weigh. We sure appreciate you coming. You gonna clean drain dry that boat? Of course I will. Oh, of course you will. We'll see you and Tom at the next MWC. Thanks guys. Coming up next, boat number 34 from Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, Lake Park, Minnesota. Mike Olson and Pete Garoy went out with 15 pounds, three ounces day one, and they got a five fish limit. Nice looking limit, Mike. How are you? You know, they came in the wrong order. We left a lot of weight out there. Um, I know we released over 20 some overs today. It was unbelievable. We had a hard time getting our under. So they came in the wrong order, but you talk big in the pickup of your limit at 23 inches and you got a fat 22 incher in your hand and you go, you can't throw it back, so. Your five fish limit today weighing at 13 pounds even for a total of 28.3 sitting in third place. We got a big fish to weigh in there. Set that box down. Hold it straight up. All right. Four pounds, two ounces. Not quite gonna make it in that big fish money today, but it should hold up for a check. We sure appreciate you guys. How are you catching them? Uh, we were using that new motor guide I-5, um, just hitting the anchor mode and jogging. We were slip bobbing fishing, and uh, there was other boats using different equipment around us, and they were everywhere, and we were, I mean, we didn't move. When we jogged left, we'd go five feet, hold, move back and forth, and it just, the motor worked awesome. Well, good luck to you holding up for a check. Congratulations, we'll see you at the next MWC. Coming up next, boat 42 from Madison in Madison, Minnesota. Joseph Bungaden and Peter McGinney. Went out with 12 pounds, eight ounces day one. They got two fish in the box today. A little tougher day today. We had 10 bites that didn't get on, they wouldn't stay hooked. Three pounds, 15 ounces for a total of 16.7. Currently puts you in eighth place. Did you have a good time here? I always do. Catch the fish every time I come. That's what it's all about, catching fish and having fun. Thanks for fishing the MWC and be sure you clean, drain, and dry those boats. Our next team up coming up, boat number 39 from Yankton, South Dakota and Marietta, Minnesota. Kurt Oliver and Tim Patzer with a five fish limit. Past World Walleye Champ, Kurt Oliver, you got that limit today, buddy. I'm more confused now than I was when I got here Sunday. <laughs> it's, what an awesome place. I mean, it's just full of fish. You can go from one end to the other. You don't know if you should take a left or take a right. Uh, you guys got an amazing place here, and the hospitality was next to none. So thank you for everything, and, and I appreciate it. We will be back. 11 pounds, 7 ounces today. No big fish today. We sure appreciate you coming. Congratulations. One day not so good. Persevere, stick with it, keep after and get that limit on day two for them points for the World Walleye Championship. You bet. That's fishing. Job. Coming up next, boat number 49 from Rogers in Ortonville, Minnesota. Our day one leaders with 20 pounds, Justin Heinrich and Cody Backstrand with a five fish limit. Oh boy. Let's see. We've got to have 11 pounds, 10 ounces to take the lead. Justin and Cody's five fish limit today weigh in. 14 pounds, three ounces. We got a new leader. 34 pounds, three ounces. We got a big fish to weigh in there today. 22 inches is the biggest fish. You are new leaders. 
How'd you catch them? What are you catching them on? And where? Pulling spinners, fire tiger, and leech uh, just north of the pen, about a mile up, just stayed in that area for two days. Are you catching them up high in the column? You catching them down by the bottom? Both? Where are they at? Bottom bouncers. Right on the bottom. Knocking them on the bottom. How about a speed? One, two. One point two. Any favorite colors on them spinners? Fire tiger. Fire tiger. Hold them fish up. Let's show the folks at home what big stone walleyes look like. 34 pounds, three ounces total. Here's your race slip. We'll get them fish hustled right off the stage, right back into the big stone lake and stick around. We're gonna put you in the hot seat in a little while. Coming up next, boat 29 from Sisseton, South Dakota, Richard Mysterick and Jerry Arbach. Went out with two pounds, 15 ounces, and got a five fish limit today, and I see a smiling face on the stage. What works one day doesn't work the next day, and we really proved that because we did the same thing today we did yesterday, and we caught 15 fish today, one yesterday. So they did come in the right order. We didn't have to release any big ones. So it was, it was everything worked all right. We got along a lot better in the boat today. <laughs> it's a whole, a whole lot more fun when you're catching them. 13, 15 today for a total of 16 pounds, 14 ounces, sitting in seventh place. Do we got a big fish to weigh today? Got to have a 4.5. You don't think it's going to make it? Did you get in the big fish pot? Yeah. Set that box down. Let's weigh it anyway. You put your money in. Let's check it. They are looking for 15-inch fish out here, folks, and they have to have only one over 20 inches per angler. Four pounds, 15 ounces. That's what you told me we needed. That is third place big fish. Good thing we weighed that one, right? Congratulations to you. Let's hope that holds up for big fish money. Our next team up, boat number 30 from Merrill, Iowa and Bellevue, Nebraska. Todd Loughton and Terry Zimmer. 12 pounds, 14 ounces, day one. And they've got a five fish limit in the box today. We've had some beautiful weather here, folks, in case you can't tell. The wind died down, but the bite didn't. Good job. Thank you. How'd you catch them? Spinners. Spinners, how deep? All depth, really, from the middle to the edge. Caught them everywhere, really did. Five fish limit today, weighing in at 13 pounds, 11 ounces for a total of 26.9. That puts you in fifth place. Do we got a big fish to weigh? 4.15. Not today. Let's hope that holds up for a big check for you today. I hope so. We sure appreciate your fishing. Congratulations. Thanks for supporting the Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit. Our next team up, boat 47 from Humboldt and T, South Dakota, Darren Lewin and Brian Folds. Six pounds, three ounces, day one. Got four fish in the box today. Darren's always got a smile on his face. He likes to fish. Yeah, I do. Uh, what a wonderful lake and wonderful community. We've had so much fun. You people are living right or somebody is because this weather, today's the second time all season I've fished without bibs on, so I certainly appreciate that. What a wonderful place this has been. Eight pounds, 12 ounces today for a total of 14, 15. We got a big fish to weigh, not today. Nope, nope. Points for the championship. Yeah, we need them. Um, hopefully we're gonna move up a little bit. We, we didn't fish real well yesterday. We fished hard today. We lost a few good bites we had out there, but um, it is what it is. I'd love to come back again and try it. We sure appreciate you. Be sure you clean, drain, dry those boats, and we'll see you at the next MWC. Coming up next, boat number 37 from Great Falls, Montana, Robert Scher and Daryl Archie. Seven pounds, 13 ounces, day one, and a five fish limit in the box today. Good job. Yeah, we, were pull, we pulled cranks all day today. We could, we barely caught our unders, actually. We had four or five overs, and we they came in the wrong order, of course. We had to let some 23s and 22s go. <laughs> Their five fish limit today, weigh in at 13 pounds. They've got a total of 20 pounds, 13 ounces. Big fish to weigh today? Nope. Not today, all right. Moving you into seventh place right now. Congratulations and thanks for coming all the way from Great Falls, Montana. Ready. Coming up next, boat number 44 from Big Stone City, South Dakota, Walnut Grove, Minnesota. Rick Robertson and Dylan Robinson with three fish in the box, 10 pounds, 14 ounces day one. 
14 pounds, 15 ounces for day two for a total of 25, 13. Sitting in sixth place. Looks like we got a big fish to weigh. Did you get the big fish pot? Yes, we did. Let's set that box down. Get that big one out. Hold them both up right now for the camera. Put the biggest one in the box. Get ready, folks. Look at there. Let's get a weight on this big fish for the day. Look at there, folks. Seven pounds, 14 ounces for new big fish today and the Zippo Hot Hands Award so far for the tournament. Congratulations. How'd you catch that fish? Uh, we were pulling spinners. Pulling spinners whereabouts? Uh, down by the islands. And did you have a favorite depth, color, or speed? Not really. Same about that mile and a half an hour. About it. <laughs> well, congratulations right now. That is our Zippo Hot Hands Award, big fish of the tournament. And a $525 fish for today. Coming up next, boat number 26 from Madison, Minnesota, Paul Weber and Russell Borstad. One pound, 11 ounce day one. They got three fish in the box today. Oh, look at that. Nice looking fish. They got 12 pounds even today for a total of 13.11. Did you get the big fish pot? Yes, we did. Let's set that box down. We got another picture fish coming, folks. Get them cameras ready. Got to be 505 to get into the big fish money. Look at that. All right, let's check the weight on it. 714 is the biggest fish so far. Your big fish weighs in at 8 pounds, 4 ounces. The new Zippo Hot Hands Big Fish and a $525 fish today. Put that one back in that box. Who caught it? You or your partner? I did. What'd you catch them on? Spinners. Crawler harnesses? Yep. Favorite color, speed? Uh, one mile an hour and uh, pink. Can I get a picture of my sponsors? Absolutely. We'll send you right over there and get some photos. We've got on the World Wide Web on Facebook for the Masters Walleye Circuit. If you want to see some of these photos, folks, coming up next, boat number 32. These are species. And as I've been here the past couple, three days, I've learned that there's been just a tremendous success story in terms of the recovery of the fishery here. And it sounds like, uh, well, obvious, obviously with all the wonderful fish that have been presented here today, there's a great fishery that's out there. Aquatic invasive species are one of the major threats to uh, uh, lakes across Minnesota and the upper Great Lakes. Things like Asian carp, the fish that jump, through the, jump out of the water, Eurasian water milfoil, zebra mussels, purple loose stripe, curly pondweed and there's a whole host of others that are in the area that we don't want here. So every lake that we protect in the upper Midwest is a major savings to recreation, it's a major savings to the sport industry and also to the economy and to the communities that rely upon healthy lakes and rivers. So the MWC has been doing their part and we've been partnering with them for the past four years helping to educate their anglers just like we've been educating uh, recreational anglers to the Stop Aquatic Hitchhikers campaign for the past 10 years or so. And the good news is that anglers are really getting it. Based on some of our surveys that we're doing, 97% of all the boaters and anglers that we're contacting are saying that they're willing to take the action to prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species. So we're being very successful. But we need your partnership. If you are an angler and a member of a conservation group or a fishing organization and haven't become a Stop Aquatic Hitchhiker campaign partner, you can please stop by our booth here or you can go online and go to stopaquatichitchikers.net and you can sign up to become a campaign partner and with that you can get resources to help extend the message out to your group and into the communities that, uh, that you live in to help prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species into your lakes and rivers. So I hope that everybody's having a great time here today and everybody's having a great time uh, online watching the show. And we hope that you'll join us in helping to stop aquatic hitchhikers. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. And we've got more fishermen loading up here. Our second flight is in. Are we ready to roll? Boat number 23 is coming up next. Brad Jensen and Lee Allen Endress from Watertown, South Dakota. They went out with nine pounds even after day one, and they got three fish to add to it for today. 
don't know the direction. How are we doing today, Brad? We struggled today. Well, we kind of struggled yesterday with only four fish, too, but we were way up north and we struggled. We had a lot of hits, and they would hit, and they would bring the board back, and then we'd lose them. So it was a tough day all around. Four pounds, 10 ounces today for a total of 13.10. We appreciate you guys coming and fishing with us. Hopefully we'll see you again on the MWC Trail. Coming up next, boat number three from Rosie in Belfort, South Dakota, our peer South Dakota Lake Sharp champions, Justin and Lauren Skipper. Went out with six pounds, seven ounces day one, and they got a five fish basket today. Good looking box of fish. Yeah, we got them uh, in the boat today. Yesterday our problem was they were just unhooking. Uh, we made a few changes. It made a huge difference of us getting these fish in. Uh, today our biggest problem was we uh, put the wrong overs in the box, but you know, I ain't gonna complain about it. It's our first time ever fishing this body of water. I mean, uh, we learned a lot. We had a great time up here and can't wait to be back. 15 pounds even for a total of 21.7, sitting in eighth place. We got a big fish to weigh. Gotta be seven, well, they didn't get in the big fish. Seven, two to even break into the big fish. Let's hope that holds up for a check for you guys. Congratulations and thanks for fishing the Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit. Coming up next, boat number 11 from Arlington, Minnesota and Omaha, Nebraska, Isaac and Todd Pauley. Seven pounds, 14 ounces, day one, and a five fish box today. Boy, them big girls bit. Yeah, it was all right. We had a five at the boat that broke off too, so would have been a couple more pounds, but it was a good day. Your five fish weigh in today at 19 pounds, four ounces for a total of 27 pounds, two ounces. Sitting in fifth place. Did you get in the big fish pot? Let's set that box down. Are you ready with the cameras, folks? We got another big one coming out of the box. Pull it right straight up for the camera. Don't have to go to any more bags. The second plate on by 4.30. Oh. Let's get a wait. Looking for, set it right in the box. Looking for 7.2. Our biggest of the day so far is 8.4. Our Zippo Hot Hands Award is worth $250 for the biggest fish of the tournament, and this is it. Nine pounds, one ounce, folks. How'd you catch that fish? Pulling cranks. Pulling cranks, what color, how speed, what, what depth? <laughs> There's a league out here on Tuesday, Monday night, so I don't keep quiet for now. All right, all right. Set that box down and fish right back in the other box. Take them over there and get some photos. Make them a superstar. Hopefully that holds up for $525 today and the Zippo Hot Hands Award. There you go. Whoop, and then I ripped it in half. <laughs> Ooh, big fish today, folks. Coming up next, boat number 12 from Worthing in Watertown, South Dakota. Dan Geiken and Cody Brinkman went out with four pounds, even day one. Got a five fish limit today. Nice looking box of fish. Yeah, much better today. 14 pounds, three ounces for a total of 18, three sitting in 12th place. Big fish today? Uh, I'm, nope. Not gonna make 714 is what you have to have to get into the Big Fish Top 3 here at Big Stone today. All right, coming up next, boat number 14 from Yankton and Pierce, South Dakota, Dean Riken and Matt Lyon, 901 day one. One fish to add to the wake for today. Didn't work out today. You know, uh, we went up to a spot, we caught them yesterday and they just went there and come back down the river and we had a couple good ones on, we just couldn't put them in the box today. Two pounds, three ounces for a total of 11.4. We sure appreciate you coming and fishing. I know we're gonna see you again this year on the Masters Walleye Circuit Trail, so travel safe and be sure you clean, drain, and dry that boat. Next boat up. Boat number 16 from Millbank, South Dakota, James Hartman and Dan Sunny. 1601 day one, a five fish limit today. Great looking box of fish. How did you catch them? Well, he started slip bobbering, but caught one that way, two on jigs, one pulling, and that's about it, everything we did today. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you do on Big Stone Lake, they, they love every opportunity to eat them baits out there. Settle them down. 14 pounds, six ounces for a total of 30 pounds, seven ounces. You're sitting in third place right now. That might hold up for a good check. I hope so. <laughs> we sure appreciate you coming and fishing with us. 
Don't forget your fish. Yeah. Congratulations and thank you for coming. Let me give you an update. 34 pounds, three ounces, Justin Heinrich and Cody Backstrand are leaders. Artie Arndt, Mike Fish, 31-10, third place. James Hartman and Dan Sunny just left the stage, 30 pounds, seven ounces. Fourth place, Greg Jones and Scott Zuffer with 29-2. 28-03 for Mike Olson and Pete Roy. Isaac and Todd Pauley, 27-2. Seventh place is Todd Loughton and Terry Zimmer with 26 even. 25-13 for Rick and Dylan Robinson, ninth place. Brian Steakin and Sean Carl with 24-6. Our top 10 is Justin and Lauren Skipper with 21 pounds, 7 ounces. Next boat up, boat number 17, all the way from Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Al Friday and Clint DeVere, 4 pounds, 3 ounces, day one. Four fish in the box today. I don't recall what Chase had, but I know it's a father-son duel always. Oh, yeah, they got money on the line, so we, uh, God, we caught everything today. We started out with about a 10-pound pike, and then bass, and perch, and drum, about a three-pound bullhead, and we needed one more under, and at the end here, in the last five minutes, we caught two overs, and we just couldn't get it, our third under, but we had a lot of fun. It was a great time. 10 pounds, 4 ounces for a total of 14.7. We sure appreciate you guys coming from Devil's Lake, supporting the MWC everywhere, and I know we'll see you again in Cass Lake. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we'll be there in, uh, in the championship in Devils. So. Oh, yeah. Home turf for the championship. Our third place finishers from Lake Sharp, Al Friedig and Clint DeVere. Next boat up, boat 25 from Ortonville, Minnesota, and Big Stone City, South Dakota. The last time the MWC was here, our champions, Print Haslin and Richie Seidel, went out with 11 pounds, 13 ounces, and they got a good five fish limit in the box today. Nice job, 16 pounds, eight ounces for a total of 28.5. Sitting in fifth place, we gotta have over 7.14, I believe it is, for big fish. Not gonna happen. Did you think that happened in this tournament? Oh yeah, if the weather straightened around, there's a lot of nice fish being caught. Well, we sure appreciate you sharing the Big Stone Lake in Ortonville with us, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, congratulations. Coming up next, boat number 13 from Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, Ryan and Ross Calber. 3-6 yesterday, they've got one fish today. Still smiling because he's having fun fishing. Yeah, we just couldn't get bit today. Uh, I actually felt like I was in a bass tournament for a while. We were uh, sight fishing a rock pile, and we had a lot of big fish uh, follow us up to the boat, but just couldn't get them to bite. Did you ever try that figure eight stuff? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't musky fishing. Four pounds, 12 ounces for a total of eight, two. Brothers fishing together. Dad took one of your brother's place, so did you have a good time fishing with him? Yeah, it's always fun fishing with my dad. We don't get to do it that much, so it's always fun. Well, we appreciate you guys coming out, sharing your family time with the Cabela's Masters Wildlife Circuit. Coming up next, boat number two from Watertown, South Dakota, Shane Spooner and Chad Hogger. Went out with 10 pounds, four ounces day one, got two fish to add to their weight today. How was your trip here to Ortonville, Minnesota? Well, was short. We're from Watertown, so it's only an hour drive up here, but uh, it was good. It was fun. Four pounds, nine ounces today for a total of 14, 13. Would you come back and fish us with us again? Absolutely. We sure appreciate you coming out fishing and supporting the Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit. Be sure you clean, drain, and dry that boat. All right, coming up next, boat number 10 from Red Wing in Dassel, Minnesota, Todd Zemke and Brian Winterfelt went out with nine pounds, eight ounces yesterday. Five fish to add today. Did you have a good day? Uh, no big fish, unfortunately, but the bite was a lot better today. Um, and uh, I'm sure it was a lot better for everyone else, too. It appears it was a good day. You gotta have 714 to get in the big fish pot. So there's some big fish and big stone. Your five fish weighing today, 11 pounds, seven ounces for a total of 20, 15, 12th place right now. We sure appreciate you guys coming. Thanks for coming to Big Stone. Would you do it again? Oh, definitely. <laughs> That's what we like to hear, folks. And it's all because of you great fans out here in Ortonville. We appreciate you all coming out here and cheering on these walleye anglers. Coming up next, boat number four from Johnston, Iowa and Blue Eye, Missouri, Todd Moss and Steve Hansen. And they've got two fish in the box. 
to add to their 413 yesterday, two fish today. 11 pounds, 8 ounces for a total of 16.5. Why don't you grab both them fish and hold them up for the World Wide Web? And the walleye paparazzi, get your cameras ready, couple beauties here. There you go, two fish, folks. They got the two right ones. Did you catch lots of fish like that? Yeah, we caught quite a few large fish and had to let them all go. We couldn't catch anything smaller. So, a great fishery. We sure appreciate you coming and fishing with us. Coming up next, boat number seven from Brooklyn Park in Osakis, Minnesota, Chuck Doobie and Mark Broderick. Five fish limit. Some of our loyal followers of the Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit, I see them all different bodies of water. You changed something from yesterday or no? We just got here today. <laughs> Well, you know, yesterday we had to chase that big fish that we burned uh, during practice, you know. So today we went fishing. We had a great day out there. We caught a lot of fish. In fact, we fished next to that boy that just got two big ones. We couldn't get the big ones. And we got a slew of <laughs> unders. So you're, great day. you're five fish weighing today, 10 pounds, three ounces. We sure appreciate you guys' support of the Masters Walleye Circuit. Which tournament are we going to see you at next? Well, we'll be to Cass Lake. We like that lake, and so we'll show up there. All right, we'll see you at Cass Lake in September. Appreciate you fishing the Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit. Coming up next, Boat 22 from Ortonville, Minnesota, Ronald Athey and Corey Stottleman went out with five pounds even yesterday, and they got a five fish limit. Good looking box of fish. 14 pounds, 13 ounces for a total of 19, 13. How'd you catch them? Uh, spinners and leeches. Spinners and leeches. High, are you fishing high in the column or on the bottom? We're pretty much fishing right on the bottom. We never got north of the pier here. Staying, staying real close, didn't burn a lot of gas. Congratulations, we sure appreciate you coming out and fishing with us. And thanks for sharing your lake with us. Coming up next, boat number one from Odessa in Cole, Minnesota, John Oaks and Nate Hebner. Tough day on the water yesterday, but they got a five fish limit in the box today. Turn it around. Nice looking box of fish, Nate. Yeah, I wish we could have did something yesterday. Yeah, look at this weight, folks. 19 pounds, 15 ounces. 714 is big fish to get in the top three. We got a 26 inch we can throw on there. Let's give it a test, set that box down. Hold it, hold it straight up for the, the World Wide Web camera. Ready? Yep. It's gonna break the seven pound mark. Seven pounds, two ounces. Not quite good enough for big fish money, but what a beautiful fish. How'd you catch it? We are pulling cranks. What were you doing yesterday? Pulling cranks. What'd you do different today? Moved a little bit and then went higher in the water column. We sure appreciate you guys fishing with us, taking your time. And you'll see you at Cass Lake, I'm sure. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Coming up next, boat number 15 from Fargo in West Fargo, North Dakota, Troy Morris and Corey Heiser. Artificial eyes team took the challenge this year to use nothing but artificial lures all season long, no live bait, five fish limit today. Good job. Yeah, thanks. This whole artificial thing has been a lot of fun. You know, we just made a pledge to try to reduce the aquatic nuisance spread and, and show people that there's a lot of things you can catch fish on. And I'll tell you what, we had the crankbaits going behind those offshore boards today and had a good day. We actually threw some overs back and, and didn't come back and bite us, but it's been fun. It's awesome. Check us out on artificialize.com. Um, we're doing a lot of videos. I don't know if you guys seen it. Shrek was fishing with me all pre-fish, and uh, so we had a good time. 12 pounds, 12 ounces today for a total of 19.2. Be good for some good points for that World Walleye Championship. Yeah, you know, that's a big deal for us. We're trying to make championship every year, and we're going to be out in Green Bay in a few weeks chasing those big green walleyes out there, so that's going to be awesome. And this place is so cool. This is an awesome, awesome crowd. Thank you. I finally got my white legs with a pair of shorts on today. Beautiful weather, so enjoy it, and thanks to all you guys for coming out. Thank you, guys.
Be sure you clean, drain, and dry those boats. Coming up next, boat number five from Oaks in Edgeley, North Dakota, Ryan and Jerry Logodinsky had 5-3 yesterday with a five fish limit today. Oh boy. You got another big one in there. Did you get in the big fish pot? No, we didn't, on purpose. It always bites us. Sometimes guys are a little bit superstitious. Your weight today, 16 pounds, 13 ounces for a total of 22 pounds. Sitting in 11th spot, just one spot out of the money. What I want you to do here is hold this fish up and show us what you can get when you don't necessarily get into the big fish pot. Superstition, a lot of fishermen, I'm telling you. It works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. Congratulations. It was supposed to happen, yeah. It was supposed to happen yesterday. How'd you catch that fish? Yeah. Pulling crankbaits. Favorite color? Uh, that one came on a uh, black and silver. How deep? 12 feet. How fast? 2 1. All right. Go out there, folks, and catch you some fish. Pull some cranks at 2.1 miles an hour. We sure appreciate you coming and fishing with us. Be sure you clean, drain, and dry that boat. I just got the word we got five boats left. Five boats to weigh in left. Coming up next, boat number 19 from Hortonville, Minnesota, in Big Stone City, South Dakota, Kelly Stottleman and Monty Athey. 10 pounds, 10 ounces day one, and they got a five fish limit to add to it today. Another good weight. How'd you catch these fish? Uh, plugs and spinners. Plugs and spinners, everybody's plugging and spinning. Did you have a favorite color? No, nope. tried all kinds. All kinds of colors, their weight today, 18 pounds, seven ounces for a total of 29, one sitting in fifth place. Do we got a seven? pounder at least in there. Set that box down. Did you get the big fish pot? Yep. All right. What are we looking for, Bob? 714? It's got to be 714 to break into the top three money fish. Seven pounds, four ounces. Not quite going to make it, but what a beautiful fish. Pull that straight up for the World Wide Web. They are lively, folks. Sure, grab that second one there. They're two overs, over 20 inches. Beautiful fish. All right, coming up next, boat number eight from Holman, Wisconsin, and Amana, Iowa. Steve Tauscher and Les Romig. Six pounds, one ounce, day one, and they got three fish to add to it today. I see a pretty nice looking tail in there. Les always smiling on the stage. They just love to fish and love to fish together. I'm lucky to be alive. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> you bet. What do we got? We're waiting here. Eight pounds, ten ounces for a total of fourteen eleven. Ooh, he says. Well, that's, they're bringing in fourteen at a time. That's two day total. <laughs> we sure appreciate you guys coming and fishing with us. Be sure you clean, drain, dry that boat. We'll see you in the end day. Our leaders, Justin Heinrich and Cody Backstrand. Front and center, come on up here. Want to put you on the hot seat. Where are my leaders? There we go. Coming down to the nitty gritty here, we're going to crown a Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit Big Stone Lake champion. How are you feeling right now? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> You look a little nervous. Yes. <laughs> Never been up here. You let him bring all the fish up. Yes. yes. All right, and what would this mean if you guys happen to hold on and win this Big Stone Championship? I don't know, unbelievable. It's been a good four days out there. You pre-fished for two days then? He did. I let him do all the work, and then I just caught him. <laughs> there you go. It is a team effort. One catches and, and one nets. Who's the catcher? He is. You're the net man? I was doing the catching anyway. <laughs> All right, let's bring up our next boat. Coming up next, boat number 24 from Aurora in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Jared Fredericks and Derek Hafner. Seven pounds, 13 ounces, day one. They got three fish in the box today. How was your day? Oh, it was bad. <laughs> That's my cue, get that mic away from me. I don't want to talk. Do you got anybody you want to say hi to? Uh, yeah, I'll say hi to my magazine, Outdoors Weekly magazine. We run in Minnesota. Three fish today, six pounds, six ounces for a total of 14.3. We sure appreciate you guys supporting the Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit. 
get that way slip out, we'll send them fish right back into Big Stone Lake. It appears this is our last boat coming to way. Boat number nine from Jenison, Michigan in Goshen, Indiana. Ken Zmudzinski and Dan Hoffman. And they've got one fish to add to their four pounds, 15 ounces. Oh, wait, I just heard there's some more fish coming. There's another box coming in here. Come here, Kenny Z. You guys travel all over and support this circuit. What do you think about Big Stone? It's always great to come to Ortonville. I've been here before, and I've done a little better the last time I was here. But, uh, yeah, the people here are just phenomenal. Yeah, everywhere you go, I had trouble with a trailer, lost some uh, bearings, and... Artie, he set me up with a guy down on the end of the lake here and got back on the road and was able to fish. We pre-fished while they fixed the trailer. So it's just great to be out here. It's a great, great area. Well, we sure appreciate you guys coming. We appreciate all your support of Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit. Don't forget your fish. We're going to put them fish right back in. Send that other team up here. I know we got one more team to weigh. <laughs> okay, I guess that calls it. Our winners, Justin Heinrich and Cody Baxter with 34 pounds, 3 ounces. I got another one. You each get one of them. Let's hear it, Ortonville. Now, how do you feel? A lot better. <laughs> but uh, two hours of sleep last night, I think. <laughs> worrying and worrying. If the fish are going to be there, we didn't catch a fish till about 11.30 today, so it was pretty, pretty intense. And uh, what did you catch all these fish on? The uh, Minn Kota spinner. The Minn Kota spinner. What is a Minn Kota spinner? Uh, made down in Madison, Minnesota. Ah, hometown stuff. Congratulations, gentlemen. Are you going to come fish another MWC with us somewhere? I think we'll have to now if the wife will allow it. <laughs> but we sure hope she will. Let's hear it one more time. <laughs> Justin Heinrich and Cody Backstrand. Good